everything you ever wanted to know about on-site search engine optimization in three easy steps from 910 West. Uh, what we do on-site to optimize for organic search results is a really important part of what we do for websites and listings. So the three easy steps are, number one, to get your keyword research. Um, make sure you've got the right words. Number two, page titles and descriptions. And number three, what's happening in the content, both text and images. So let's jump right into that. Keyword research, popular, ownable, and relevant are your three takeaways for this. Keywords and phrases need to be commonly used. If you are using great words, but nobody's looking for them, nobody's searching for those, it's not gonna help you much. So ideally, it's your business target that is searching for these kinds of terms. Number two, ownable, which means less competitive. You don't want to spend a lot on paid search, and when you turn paid search off, you're going to lose that traffic. So if you are chasing after organic, listings then ownable and less competitive terms are what you're looking for and last but not least relevant to your business this should be something that our clients have something meaningful to offer to people who are searching for that term it has to be a solution that they offer or, or something they can contribute to the conversation when we determine keywords, it is an art and a science. There is research and the science of it. And in 910 West, you're using data from SEMrush, which is usually Google searches in the US for the past 12 months. So when you guys see volume numbers for me, competitive data, that's where it's coming from. That's the source. But then there's also an art to it. So using your knowledge of the client's business and their target market to determine what is relevant to them, what is going to be ownable to them, and then using those bigger search terms, those bigger keywords for site pages, such as when we're designing a website from scratch, and then more niche phrases for blog topics. So that's where some discernment comes into play there. Number two, page titles and descriptions. So once you've got your short list of keywords, what do you do with them? Well, you're going to use them for robots and for people. How often is what you're doing for both? Page titles and descriptions are really important for search engine spiders. So as the, as the Google spiders are coming through websites and looking at different pages, but it, they also function as mini ads to encourage searchers to click. So it has to be written for humans as well. And just for those who don't know, here are search engine results for our own company name. You see the page title appears here in the clickable link, and this is the page description. So you have some control over how you appear in your search engine results. Yoast is a commonly used WordPress plugin that we use for our own website. And here's an example of what that interface looks for one of our blog posts. Here is the title and the description. The URL should also have the keywords in it. The focus keyword that Yoast asks for is what you're optimizing for then you write in the title and the description. And the neat thing is that Yoast gives you a real-time score of how you're using those keywords and making sure that you go through the full checklist. And we'll take a look at, at an active blog post. And here's the results. So this is the how that blog post, given the title to the description, looks in actual Google search results. Number three, content, which is text and images. If you use keywords early and often in the text on a page, it gives you more boost. In advertising research days, we call that voting Chicago style, early and often. Uh, three times is a good threshold to use in the content. And then optimizing images and video is also beneficial to organic SEO. So edit the image to include keywords in the alt text. So let me switch over to our website and show you this in action. Here are recent posts, and here's one of our blog articles. What we were optimizing for here was customer service. So having customer service in the title automatically puts it in the URL, 
And you can see here that Yoast is keeping our tally, that title and URL have our focus keywords in it. Then I'm including a title for SEO and a meta description that also has those keywords in it. And then our meta keywords are again, usually the same as the focus keyword. The nice thing is if you really wanna get great detail, Yoast gives red light, orange light, yellow light, and green light. And what you optimally want to get to is a green light up here in the check. And it gets very detailed about how often, how many words are in the body copy, how many outbound links. And so if you're not getting a green light, you have very specific actionable items to follow up on. Last but not least, we were talking about optimizing the image. So you want to edit the image and go in here to the alternative text or alt text and include keywords there as well.